Hello everybody, my name is Discorpion and welcome back to Automation. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned that I would be making the most powerful uh, series of engines uh, in the Unreal Engine version of this game. Um, so what I've done is I've taken my V8 that I originally did in the old game and I've also done the V12. 60 degree v12 which has been asked by a lot of people for me to do uh, that and then I've also done a uh, what else have I done? oh the v6 sorry the v the 60 degree v6 so I've done the three main engines from the old game and I'll put them into this game and so then in another video I'll probably do a 60 degree v8 the v10 and also the 90 degree v6 just to see the difference between the two of them Oh, three of them, sorry. No, yeah, two of them. Two the two different V6s and the two different V8s. Yeah, sorry. Still kind of waking up. Um, so anyway, we'll just get right into it. We'll just go straight to... We'll do the V8 first. That's probably the one that uh, needs to be done first. Hold on a minute. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, da, 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 where is it? There, edit. There we go. So, I managed to get the... V8 to 3,312 horsepower. Now that is actually less than the old game, but what they've done in this game now, um, they've only like updated the game, I think yesterday or the day before, sorry. Um, yeah, it was, I think it was the 2nd of June that they updated the game. They removed the race intake if you've got a turbocharged system, which makes sense because originally um, you would just have the intake these things here i'll try and zoom it these you have these things here and then you just have a pipe just sticking in mid-air you wouldn't have this uh air box cover here um and yeah you you can't physically turbocharge a car with the race intakes it, it just wouldn't work so that's why they've gone and just set it so that you the max is the performance intake which i'm completely happy with it makes perfect sense makes perfect sense i did actually make a engine with the race intake um i do have a screenshot i'll just pop up the the power thing there we go so that's basically what i got with a race intake 3401 horsepower which i'm absolutely happy with that's amazing it's unbelievable um which is, that is actually better. That, I'm pretty sure now that is probably the highest anybody, anybody is ever going to get um, for the V8 in this game. Because, well, you can't do it anymore. Um, so anyway, the V8. So I'll quickly go through the start of the specs. So obviously, 90 degree V8. Just standard V8. Magnesium, dual overhead cams, 5 valves per cylinder. Aluminium silicon. I believe that's aluminium silicon head material um so there we can see the 10.9 liter you can't have variable valve length with a five valve uh system billet steel titanium forged just basic stuff just to make the engine run perfect so just to prove i can't i can't really do anything without it losing power in any capacity um turbocharged the compressor's maxed out the turbine is a little bit smaller um, but yeah, there's hardly any wiggle room. Max pressure. I don't actually have to have it maxed out, as you can see. Uh, if I put it down to 40.7 psi, I do lose two horsepower. Um, and amazingly, I actually gain a bit of uh, performance index. I'm going to assume that's probably the the spooling time or something. It's probably like a couple of milliseconds better or something. Anyway, and then on to the fuel system, direct injection, throttle per cylinder, performance intake. Like I said. Uh, 100 research octane number i believe that stands for i searched that up before i made this video so instead of me just saying 100 ron and not knowing what it meant um ignition timing again can't do anything fuel mixture just leave it at 10 because that's the way you're going to get your best uh performance in my opinion at least and you'll notice all the engines have a rpm limit of 7900 because that is the max uh, stress for the piston as you can see I can go up to 8,000 but we are not really gaining anything at all and here we go with the exhaust so not a lot of uh, wiggle room there as well 
Um, and again, putting the mufflers on actually does increase the power by a couple of uh, uh, horsepower. But actually, as you can see, it actually reduces the torque. But like I said, this is the most powerful. So when you think of power, you think of horsepower. This is not the most uh, torquey, so it's not like, yeah. I could probably do that, actually. I could make a new series where it would be like the most grunty or something. I don't know. Anyway. So I'll give it a little... I'll just do an automatic test just so you can listen to it. It just sounds basically the same as it does in the old game. Um, and then we'll move on to the V6. The one thing they need to do, well, there's actually two things. One, they need to uh, bring back the turbo whistle. I think they're probably actually working on maybe getting a better quality turbo whistle than the one in the uh, old game. And also, they need to get rid of the guy that's like either snapping his fingers or clapping in the background for a um, for the backfire. <laughs> just no, just don't. Please update it. Anyway. Now we're on to the V6. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what the CR stands for, or CP, sorry, it's cross-plane. So if I do a flat plane, I'll be FP. Just if you uh, return to watch my videos, I'll probably you'll probably see that up in the corner there. Anyway, twin turbo V6, the TT twin turbo, obviously. Now this, uh, the, uh, the V6s, obviously, I think that it's just, this is just what the V6s are like. Um, you get all your power, um... Well, the, the most amount of power you can get is if you, uh, well, what am I trying to say? All the power you're getting basically in the last thousandth RPM. That's basically what you're getting. It's it's no matter how, what you do or anything, that's just, if you want the most amount of power, that's where it's going to be, really. Unlike the V12, which you'll see next, which is, it's amazing, that V12. So anyway, 60 degree V6 magnesium, 8.1 litre, dual overhead cams, 5 valve per cylinder, ALSI, billet steel titanium forged, basic stone, basically the same stuff, so no wiggle room there, and that just increases knocking, so... Turbo's actually, or turbine, sorry is a little bit smaller uh, than the V8 which makes sense obviously less cylinders um, and then direct injection throttle per cylinder etc 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 very just yeah g genetics general stuff in there I think the exhaust diameter on this is a little bit bigger than the V8 and also, as you can see, this is actually one of the engines that, when you put mufflers on, it actually reduces power. Funny enough. So, um, yeah, I didn't worry about putting mufflers on this. So, this one's quite loud. This is 81.2. Uh, I believe, I'm, I don't know what the actual unit of measurement that is. It could be decibels. I'm not too sure. It's... I. I highly doubt it because it would be much louder than 81 decibels or probably up to like 100 decibels I'd say but anyway just do an automatic test just so you can hear it I love the sound of the V6s they do sound good Rightio, now we'll move on to the V12. 3,445 horsepower. Now, I, I did actually start to make this engine um, in the older version of the Unreal Engine uh, uh, beta where they had the race intakes. And I think I got... I th I'm, I'm not 100% sure because I can't. I only threw it in really quickly late at night and then I was like, okay, I'll just finish tuning in the morning. But I'm pretty sure I managed to get to about 3,500 horsepower on that. Um, which is, yeah, that is amazing numbers in that. I mean, it's relatively close to the V8, 
but I believe it's because the V12, you can only get twin turbos for uh, these engines at the moment. If you went, well, if they had an update where they um, updated it to quad turbos, then I think we'll probably see better results. Um, but I mean, this twin turbo setup, you look at the torque, that is beautifully flat for about 1000 RPM between about 4500 and 5500. It's beautiful and it doesn't drop down that much the ho the boost comes on really early actually it comes on you see you're starting to spool at about 2000 3000 4000 as we actually starting to make really nice power and then it's really respectable through the uh higher rpm range that's it's a really really nice engine i really like this engine <laughs> like a lot i really do uh, so again, no wiggle room with anything. Turbines at 90.5, same with the V8, I believe, the same size. No wiggle room there. You can see how much that actually changes the uh, when the boost comes. Oh, that is quite good right there. See, I would have been happy with that. That's beautiful number of torque. It comes on at 4,000. That's where you get, it looks like you get the max pressure, around about 4,000. But we're looking for most amount of power, so... I mean, I probably could actually get a little bit more out of this. You see the boost? It's only at 23.8 PSI. And we're getting these figures. I mean, it's... Yeah. I could probably keep going if I really wanted to, but... I think... Right now, like... Having to switch between different... Um, panels here, and then fiddling with the compression... Yeah, because, I mean, the compression's pretty high. It's 11.2, so if I drop that down, I could probably bring the boost up. Maybe. But I can't be bothered, so, um, again, no wiggle room there, and the compression, no wiggle room there. Same stuff, and same stuff as the other engines, 16 point, I rounded up, 16.3 litre engine, massive engine. Like someone said, actually, they commented on a video, I believe, or they actually messaged me, I can't exactly recall, but anything over around 12 liters for the v12 that you're not really gaining a hell of a lot of power um because i believe of the the two turbos if there was four turbos then it'll be a different story but i think because of the two turbos we're not really seeing that much of a uh performance hike compared to say the v8 at 10.9 liters um so, oh, it's a very heavy engine as well, 420 kilos, waiting for the 420 memes to come in now. Anyway, automatic testing, and then I'll probably finish the video. I really, really like this engine. It is amazing. See the cooling value for this ridiculous fuel efficiency, service cost, octane, emissions. I believe this this here is from when I was filling around with the compression, I say. Yeah. So, um, anyway. I think what I'll do before I finish the video, we're, oh, we're already on to 14 minutes, so I'll do it really quickly. I'll add... Um, the different engines so you can actually compare i love this graph i've said it before in my previous video but i really like it and you can see the difference um in the power and that and the torque uh between the v6 so this is the v12 compared to the v6 um and then we'll go to the v8 which is relatively it's pretty close up at the higher rpm range so we're actually the torque's getting really close at sort of 7900 RPM limit and the horsepower as well so I mean if we had stronger pistons con rods and cranks um, I think that the V8 will probably make more power than the uh, V12 at the current sort of tune I guess you could say um, but at the moment it obviously does not But anyway, and now what I'll do is I'll just compare the V8, so I'll just, I'll just go to the V6, and then we'll select the V8, 
So we can see the two. So these are relatively similar as well. The power is relatively similar. And sort of when the, the boost does come on earlier with the V8, probably due to the extra two cylinders. And so we see obviously better results. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really liking this beta so far. Um, and like I said, I will be uh, doing... Uh, if I go to new family, I will be doing 60 degree V8 and the 90 degree V6 and the V10. Um, the V10, I'm going to be making quite a lot of those because I really like five cylinder engines and so basically double five, obviously 10. Good math, 10 out of 10. Um, so yes, like I said, thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.